What I have this week is a basic summing amplifier and I have uh, two signals V1 and V2. Let me sine wave 1 V1 will be 1 volt peak to peak riding on 0 volts and V2 is will be 2 volts peak to peak riding on 0 volts. Uh, same frequency 60 Hertz. Alright I'll just run it and we'll take a look at the input signals V1 and V2 and here is the output both inputs sum together to give an output an inverted output of 3 volts peak to peak and how this accomplishes this is where V1 is being fed in through R1, V2 through R2 these two voltages are being summed together. They are, they are 3 volts at the inverting input but what happens is due to op amp action the op amp is going to do whatever it can to keep it 0 volts at the inverting input. So if we have 3 volts here it's going to, it's going to output a negative 3 volts to keep it virtual ground at the inverting input. And that is how we get our sum voltages. Now the thing is people will ask why am I get why is it summing the voltages V1, V2 together. Why isn't it uh, seeing R1 and R2 in parallel and then uh, acting like a normal amplifier where it would have like a gain of 2? Well, that's because in the summing amplifier circuit, because of the inverting input being at zero or virtual ground it's isolating the inputs R1 and R2 so the op amp will see R1 separate from R2 it won't see it won't act like they're in parallel it'll treat them individually where you have a gain of one so it'll be one volt two volt some together three volt negative 3 volt out and to see if this is true I'm gonna go ahead and change R1 I'll change that to 5k and run now if you look at it here we got an output of 4 volts peak to peak now and the reason for that is the gain basically it's the, it sees these two individually R1 and R2 and R2 the gain between R2 and the feedback here 10k 10k is 1 but the gain here between R1 and R3 is 2 so we got a voltage of 1 volt peak to peak gain of 2 that gives us 2 volts peak to peak added to our gain of 1 circuit here which our V2 is coming into which is 2 volts 2 volts plus 2 volts is 4 volts and then we get our negative 4 volts out and to make that a little more obvious I'm going to make that 1k and we'll really see the difference so you see we got 12 volts peak to peak now because the gain from R3, R1 to R3 is now 10 but the gain between R3 and R2 is still 1 
So we're going to still get two volts peak to peak through here. But because our gain is 10 from R1 to R3, one volt peak to peak signal is now 10 volts peak to peak. So 10 volts peak to peak plus 2 volts peak to peak is 12 volts peak to peak. And inverter does its thing, makes sure the inverting input stays at virtual ground. It, it pushes out an inverted 12 volts peak to peak. I hope that's been helpful and we will see you next time.